right, guys, welcome back. Hey. We are back. Here's the thing. <laughs> Season two, episode two. Two for two. Back at Rec Philly. Yes. Love back in the swing of things. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be back, guys. How was your week? It was busy and good. Busy? That's it was busy and good. I had a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. a little rock climbing event yesterday that was really cool and fun. Shout out to Cliffs. You guys got to hey, check Cliffs. it out. Come on. In the Northeast. It was, it, was, it was nice. Loved it. Yeah. So. What did we do? Oh, Leah's birthday was yesterday. We had, happy birthday, Leah. Happy birthday, Leah. Happy birthday, Leah. Happy birthday, Leah. That was fun. <laughs> we had a good time. All the things. We All the working. candles. Oh, you made candles? Oh, oh yeah. Scents up. Oh. You come up with your own scents, which you like. Oh, I should have been there for that. Add the oils to it. was a good it. time. You start up. Yes, you come up with a name for your candle. Okay. I had a clean candle, and I had a pretty candle. There was a name, clean and pretty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, yeah, it was a good time. Week was just full of work, you know, mm -hmm. basic stuff. But, guys, I want to get right into this topic. Let's do so it. So, we're, we're talking today about Drum something roll, that's please. been really, really controversial in the black community and the national community mm -hmm. um, is black hair. Black hair. Black hair. So, we know that, um, what, two years ago, about mm -hmm. two years ago in Texas, they had um, said that they were not going to allow these two young men to... Um, walk across the stage and graduate high school because of their long dreadlocks. I know you guys have probably seen the viral video that came out a couple years ago about the little girl crying because she got put out of her elementary school. This is a third grader mm -hmm. um, because of her natural hair. Um, and I think it was 2019, a young, a young lady in high school, Attica, I forget her last name, but this was in Kentucky. Her and her mother brought a lawsuit against the uh, school district because of their dress code policy, mm -hmm. which included no corn rolls, no, no um, dreadlocks, that sort of thing. So this is a, this is a, nat a national thing. I know that the, it's gone to court. Um, it was legal up until, this discrimination was legal up until 2018. In 2019, they did pass that act that Crown said act. that they, the Crown Act that yeah. cannot be um, discriminated against because of their hair. So there's a lot of things that, we're, that we talk about when it comes to natural hair uh, as far as natural versus um, relaxed. <laughs> Perm. Perm. Chemically altered. Chemically <laughs> altered. That was what I was looking uh, yeah. for. So there's this 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 conversation can go so many directions, but I just want to get you guys' opinion on it um, as far as the discrimination yeah. and then the uh, assimilation, yeah. if okay. you will, as far as relax, chemically altered and natural <laughs> hair. <laughs> My hair is not chemically altered. Oh, girl. Oh, and then that, that, that word that I hate too, what? good hair versus bad hair. Oh, that is something that has come from our community. Yeah, oh, I, have, I have a whole spill on that. Woo! Yeah. Let's right. talk about it. Let's get into <laughs> good it. hair Let's versus bad hair. It. Well, on, on the stem of what you're saying on the, on the heels of that, with the Crown Act, um, for those of you who do not know, it's, uh, what does it stand for? Crown? Mm-hmm. Creating I am not a my respectful hair. and open world for natural hair. That's what it stands okay. for. I didn't oh, know yes. that. Okay. Oh, yes. The microphone. So, um, what? Bring your microphone a little closer. Oh, oh thanks. No thanks. problem. We want to make sure that the, that, that the people hear you. Let the people hear. <laughs> hey, those with an ear to hear. Um, so, yeah, we're very, <laughs> we're very excited about the Crown Act. It's been passed in several states, California, mm -hmm. New York. Um, which are usually the, the more pioneering states. Of course. Uh, but people are coming around, and I think that this is a conversation that I'm glad we're having now, but the fact that we have to have, the fact that we need anti-discrimination legislation just to be able to wear our natural hair the way it come out our hair. The way the like guy the, gave it to the, us. Come out my scalp like that. Right, right. And I need a law to, 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 to keep my job or it's to crazy. not be thrown out of school. or It's just... <sighs> <sighs> Tell me what about it. Do. But it does raise the uh, the general conversation around it, which which I'm 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 grateful for that. Um, as in regards to good and bad hair, I too hate that. Term. I hate that. Term. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I think we as a people just started to learn how to own our beauty, mm -hmm. our individuality, yeah. um, and manage it in a way that's healthy for us. And stop trying to assimilate. Mm -hmm. You know, people's losing their edges in these streets, honey. Child. People <laughs> edgeless. Okay. Edgeless. Just trying to go against what is natural. Right. You know? So, right. so I'm yeah. gonna speak on that. Please. Yes, yeah, speak the on that. Good hair, bad hair, okay. natural. So I feel like black women, mm -hmm. we do struggle with our hair. Mm -hmm. Um, we struggle with it because of the black men. 
Mm. Okay. And because of the black tell. men. Tell. Okay. We black men. Uh, let me sip this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me sip a little She got to sip right. her almond All milk. Right. Mm. <laughs> she want to lay we it out plain. Almond honey. Okay. Okay. Milk. Flat. So. Let us have it now. Black men. Yeah. So when he was in high school or elementary school, going, there was always a couple, one girl in the class that had like the good hair, mm -hmm. the nice hair. All the guys flocked to her. Uh -huh. Everybody wanted to there. Everybody wanted to be with her. Started off as a child, that girl was what every other girl who didn't have that hair wanted to be. Right. The long hair, the pretty hair. Black guys tend to go for the mixed girls, the girls that had like the different type of texture hair, like a white woman for the mm -hmm. most part. Mm -hmm. And yes. that might stem back from slavery. Oh, it does. No from might. being no. raped and, you know, the light skinned Negro having the more finer hair right. than the other one. And, you know, anything that's of white is considered to be better, superior. Right. So she was better. The light skin girl, the prayer was better. All mm -hmm. that was better. So that all stemmed back from just a mindset of, you know, slavery, where women felt we had to have this straight, long hair for men who want us and like us. So it's it's a more of a mental thing mm -hmm. that's been deep rooted inside of us where everyone feel like, you know, that's why the girls are wearing these weeds, but you know, these these baby hair edges and all the stuff that oh, had that whole look yeah. of, <laughs> you know, of another race of not your right. own. Right. But granted, we do come in all flavors of hair. You yeah. know, we have fine hair, we have coarse hair, we have all textures of hair. But that whole look came from, you know, insecurity of black women with men. I, not just black men. I do agree with. Well, you, I mean, you know, I'm, we, I'm just thinking with our it's, race it's in the natural. Ways. Yeah, like, that whole like '80s Chico the Barge, like women were idolized, and that was the look. Like right. you had the, you know, Eric LaSalle. Like that whole what was that? <laughs> but again, but yeah. Chico the Barge, no shade. It's light skin. Fair skin right, with the good but, hair, and that I'm was the whole it's, thing. It's on both sides. It's yeah. black women doing it to black men. It's black right. men doing it to black women. It's black people doing it to each other with this whole colorism thing, as well as the whole hair texture I think thing. hair and colorism hold hand in yeah. hand. I think Absolutely. it all it comes in part with it. That it's right. just this whole thing that, you know, finer hair is better, longer hair is better. Yeah. You know, like all that kind of stuff. Like when you're in school and you had a long hair, like who she thinks she because she got her long hair? Like it's it's just always something. Well, I think I think you hit the nail on the head when you say it goes back to those slavery days mm -hmm. because we did have those um, those mixed races back in those days. Mm -hmm. And and typically when you were a mixed race or you were a lighter or fairer skin with longer hair, you were the one who worked in the house. Mm -hmm. And so you would have the treated darker better, skin. Yeah. You were treated better. You have the yeah. darker skins that were jealous of the mm -hmm. lighter skins. Right. I mean, we, at the end of the day, what we fail to realize is that slave mentality. We're all fucking slaves. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just get to work in houses. You got to work in the field. Right. But, but the perception of that is very much like, oh, the lighter skin ones, they get treated better. The longer hair they get, mm -hmm. they, the master appreciates them more. Um, so I think it does stem back to that. And that has trickled down hundreds of years to mm -hmm. where we are now. Absolutely. You know, and I think I really appreciate this, um, this natural hair movement. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's saying to our, you know, I'm all about the kids, mm -hmm. right? So was saying to our children, it's okay yeah. to, to allow your hair to be kinky, curly, wavy, right. whatever. And whatever way your hair that comes out of your head, naturally, it's okay to be that. You are still beautiful. And I think that's something that we as as adults have to teach our children. Like, you're going to be, you're beautiful either way. And yeah. But we have to actually feel it. We have to mm -hmm. actually know that. You know, I, I, I think all black is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Whether you're light skin, um, whether you dark skin, I think it's all beautiful. Um, and I, I really appreciate the, the dreads. And I mean, I was going, I wanted dress so bad. Me and my best Child, friend here, we, oh, I'm going to tell, tell the story. Friends. I, because the I, I, here's the thing, I'm gonna tell the business. So me and my Girl. best friend here, we wanted dreads, and, and we do we do things together, right? right. And we didn't want to wait, no. so we went and bought some kinky hair, <laughs> and we was well, and we had, where are yes. the pictures at? Oh my god! But we never put them in. But let me tell you, so we was yeah. threading. Yeah, we were crocheting, we were threading, crocheting <laughs> dreads, and we were gonna put it in I our saw hair. A video about it. I said, I can, we can make we them. can make them. <laughs> but that's just the but that. For, what that speaks to me is that I just love the naturalness of black people and yeah. the naturalness of the hair. And I just didn't have time to grow it out. So we stopped. We quit. It took um, us like a month to do eight. And we gave eight. it up. It was taking too long. Oh, and my so God. And we needed like 50, 60. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like throwing it in the trash. And then 70. I was like, well, I'll just cut. I'll just do the top. I only need 40. Right, Shall like, we got 40. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the moral of the story is we I for me it was just this thing I just wanted to be more connected with the blackness of right. me you know yeah. what I mean I wanted those dreads I love being dark skin or medium brown skin <laughs> um, and so we we probably will touch on colorism at some, at point, some point but we're talking about hair now dreads are beautiful at, well you know what else and Breaking natural hair is beautiful Breaking the that somehow your natural hair is you being rebellious you kind of raging against the machine like what is that you don't, 
I mean, I think it, that could have been birthed around the whole Black Panthers movement and when Afros were a sign of, you know. Say it loud. Yeah, I'm black and I'm proud, but it's like, I'm not going to conform. I'm going to, right. you know, I'm not going to be like everyone else. Well, I um, think they came out of like the whole, what do they call it, like, lie or conk things? What do they call it back? It was lie. Like lie. lie. I yeah. think that came after that whole thing. Like, you know, they're all putting their, all that hair, like they like the hair oh, like yeah. the white man. Like I Malcolm think after that, like, yeah. then it came like, no, I'm black and I'm proud. came right. after that whole you know, movement of, mm-hmm. you know, at the, you know, when Malcolm X became Malcolm X, exactly. you know what I mean? Transform mm-hmm. it came into like, no, we don't have to, we're us. We don't have to do that. We don't have to right. conform that way. Right. And we shouldn't. So, Ned, I, I'm interested to hearing your thoughts on why you feel that women, um, black women, tend to buy the, the long 28 inch straight hair <laughs> and, you know, look like the Naomi Camel instead of wearing their natural hair or, or something of that nature. I think, again, it's all about secure insecurity. Like, mm-hmm. it's just, mm-hmm. you know, it took us a long time to feel secure. Even like I used to, I've always had hair. I right. didn't realize that I had hair. Mm-hmm. You know, it took me going to a hairdresser. I just put perms in my hair or anything, you know, back then. I didn't know no better. Mm-hmm. And she's like, girl, why are you putting this stuff here? You don't need these right. chemicals in your hair to begin with. And this is probably like a... I'm going to say, like, maybe 2006. Right. And I'm like, oh, I don't need a perm. Because I just thought, you know, we black, yeah, we get perms. Yeah. You know what I mean? We right. get perms. Children. She's like, no, girl, you don't need no perm. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. And she pressed my hair. I never just as straight as everything with no perm. And I'm like, oh. You know what I mean? But I was still into, like, my weaves a little bit. Mm-hmm. I dated someone, and I had worn my real hair just because it wasn't done. And he was like, oh, my God. You have hair really nice beautiful. hair. And yeah. I'm like, I do. <laughs> I, I'm not no lie. And that, like, after that situation, and I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. So maybe I'll start playing around with my real hair. And as, you know, as I was dating, you know, whatever, guys would really like my real hair. And I'm like, oh. Like, it, it made me feel confident in my own self. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? I'm, so I have not had a weed since, like, probably 2007, like, 8. Awesome. I've only worn my like, hair. Do you feel like far too soon parents are Mm -hmm. doing things and then the children don't even learn to appreciate their natural state they don't they don't i think parents do do too much too soon like just you know i mean sometimes i know me as a parent my daughter hair we have different texture hair like Mm -hmm. my hair is more fine her hair is more it's more thick Mm -hmm. so trying to deal with her on a daily basis is too much for me so i keep it braided because it's easy for me during the school days keep it moving whatever the case may be but a lot of parents are like putting, like, a lot of chemicals in their kids' hair, like, just doing too much too soon without, like, letting them be able to identify with their hair themselves. And then when they get to, like, you know, 18, their hair is already damaged. It's what they want to do. Right. It's like, what do I do with my hair? Right. You know what I mean? There right. is, you know, and our hair, it, it comes in different forms, but, you know, a lot of African Americans have a lot of dry scalp. So with all those chemicals, it plays with the dry scalp. It makes it more brittle. It falls out, you know what I mean? So I think it should be more education about how to deal with our hair, but it's like a lot of black products out now too, though, right. for natural hair too. So, do you think? Do you think that? Well, for both of you, do you guys think that the parents do that for necessity, or they do it for conformity? Do they do it? What What are the reasons why do you think parents put in that put those type of products? In I children's think the hair? necessity. I think for both. I think, it's I think a it goes too. hand in mm-hmm. hand. You know, because yeah. a lot of working moms really don't have the time to deal with sometimes putting. Doing hair every like I know I didn't. Right. You know, hair every morning with her, and then she crying. And she you know, it's too much. So braids is easier for me to do with her, and she likes yeah. the braids. You know, whatever the case may right. be. Um, I saw an a, a article, not an article, an interview on YouTube about a parent that she spoke on. She put the the chemical. She relaxed her daughter's hair so she didn't her daughter didn't have to be teased. Thank Dragon Blue Ivy. So you know, you know they got I mean? something to say about everybody. And Don't shout out to Blue Ivy. I love her daughter. to let her wear her hair however she want. Her oh, hair is. Yeah. It's whatever she wants, and I like that. You yeah, know, it's right. never like you know, no slick back. Like it's always exactly. natural looking. Natural, and she that always got natural hairstyles. Always. Sends a message. I so what do you guys? What do you guys? In, in the light. What do you guys feel about those um, dress codes that they have in schools and those discrim those workplace discriminations? Like that stuff is still relevant. Like we talked about, the Crown Act is really only passing like three or four states out of fifty. I, I feel it. A little bit more than that now, but. Governor, what was his name? Governor Gavin from mm-hmm. California. He said, Gavin Newsom. Yeah, he mm-hmm. said, um, hair discrimination is racial discrimination. Yeah, it's it's targeted at us. Absolutely. So, I mean, I think that it's. The I, I feel is great. it. I, I feel mean, it in the workplace. You know, um, I and I told you guys before, like I wear my like if I if I know I'm going somewhere that's more of a a diverse type of people there or more white people. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I wear my hair 
more pressed out and more straight. Mm. Um, it's because I feel like it's more of a look that they can identify and feel more comfortable with me and accept me more with, which is, I'm not saying it's good if this is being true and honest. Yeah. Um, but lately, I've been more like, you know what, whatever. Like, I've been Who wearing cares? braids more now. Yeah. Like, I've just been, you know, wearing my hair wherever I want to. When I first came out as a business doctor, I was always pressed out, always pressed and polished. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want to, like, you know, not reach certain demographic of people. Right. But then I'm like, you know, whatever. But I mean, I I felt it as a professional, you know. And I have, you know, a couple of friends that are in the profession, but they're like, I want to get braids so bad, but I know that if I get them, they're going to be looking at me funny. Yeah, and yeah. even though I went to, to, to the doctor the other day, urgent care, she had got her braces done. She's like, oh my God, they're so cute. Like, they, they, they're so, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's something different than they always want to touch and look and feel. Mm. So I get it um, from the professional point of view. Like, it, Sometimes you feel like you have to be that way because if you, you don't, to they like you. They make you feel a little uncomfortable. But I do think that with 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 maybe like uh, Matthew Cherry coming out with the um, the hair animated short that won the Oscar. Oh yeah, yeah. That in his mm-hmm. speech, um, you know, trying to break that stigma of what professionalism is and our natural texture is right. somehow not professional. Right. Somehow it's rebellious. Some, you know. But I, it goes back into slavery time with the whole. White is superior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. White women hair are more straight and stringier, and it's longer. Right. You know, but it, and so that whole look was the look that everybody looked at of being higher and better. Mm-hmm. When you mm-hmm. had that your hair like that, that considered to be better. And then you know, men are performing that too because that's what they you know we've been raised to believe like that's better to well, have that hair. I, I think that stigma is changing with a lot of men. Mm-hmm. I really think that's uh, um, cause, I cause hope it would. society. Society wants to wants to, to project that. Black men are are after white women and and marry white women, but the the true matter is less than ten percent of black men are married to white women. Good. Over eighty percent of black men are married to black women. So that's just one of those that stigmas part. that people are putting out. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But we just. <laughs> But, but it's a stigma no. that people are saying, right. you know, because the, the the long hair, and we've talked about white another right. show, the trophy piece, mm-hmm. white is right. But now I think black men are starting to accept the the naturalness. They're, they want but our girls are still be, wearing wigs. They are. And, and no, let me listen. I it's love a movement. Though. I it's love coming. the I love the hair. I love the bundles. I love the whole mm-hmm. looks we do. I'm not saying nothing against it, but again, you know. It still shows that we haven't got to the point where we're comfortable with being our true selves. Right. 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 But sometimes, like. Let me just play a little devil's advocate. Typically. Some, ooh, sometimes I think the argument is for a protective style. So, But a lot of them don't have wig. edges, though. So they protecting too much because a lot but of them I'm who wear... they wear no Well, some people who do wear braids. wigs do have a lot of hair relief. I've seen yeah. girls who have wigs and pull it. It's like all this beautiful hair. I'm like, girl, why are you... Right. Who are like you protecting say, it from? You may not have the time. You're running around. You have little ones. Like, you... Listen, I got to put this like a hat. Like, I put my mm-hmm. wig on <laughs> just to make sure I can I run out the house. I think protective is for some people, but I think most parts, it's just something to say that's a confective fetish. And it's fine, you know. Right. Yeah. But I've seen women who have wigs and had beautiful hair underneath of it. And they're like, so like my hair, for example, I have I have no chemicals. I do dye, but I'm mm-hmm. not dying anymore. You see the grays. Um, but I don't wear no chemicals in my hair. Mm-hmm. When I get my hair done, shout out to Ty, deep in the hair in my nothing me up I <laughs> get it once she pressed my hair out there one time mm-hmm. that's it right I don't continuously press my hair or anything like that so as far as protective why like my hair doesn't break off or do nothing I get it pressed the one time I wrap it roll whatever I'm gonna do and when I go back I get it done again so I've been wearing my hair natural for a long time and I've never had a problem with my hair breaking off or falling out or nothing because I go to a person that deals with doing natural hair yeah so it's all about your stylist too. Oh, like you can wear your hair see. out. You don't have to wear a weed to protect it, right. and still have nice, beautiful hair. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It is about the stylist and having somebody who knows your texture, yeah. and you know somebody that you trust. Because a lot of people just do you put a perm because you're paying for it. Right. Not, not teaching you well. If you don't put a perm, this can you know you can do this with your hair. You can you know what I mean. Yeah. So I mean, it's, I do I do think it's a little bit about, about that, and it's a little bit about self love and self worth and mm-hmm. you know and, te- and you know love yourself, yourself, love the skin you're in, love the hair that comes out of your head. And I mean, I think our hair is amazing. You can wear I it straight, too. Curl, you can I'm braid okay. it, very flexible. You can do so much different things with it. Our hair has so much strength. Like you don't even understand how strong black hair is. It's really strong. It could take so much, like so much. That's so. Yeah, we were predestined to. Be mm-hmm. great, and our hair is just a part we of that do everything. destination. Yeah. We're so great. We are. We're great. amazing. We are so but great. anyway, that's 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 our conversation on black hair. I mean, it could go so many directions, yeah. and you know, we can we can take it there. We could probably talk on this for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, three hours, but we won't. And we'll black men, what's your preference? Do y'all like the natural? You know, love you who your hair, or do you like the whole like you know? 
pressed out perm. Like, what, 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 what's going on, Black talk Man? To what us. are you into? Yeah, talk to us. Let, Let us know, know how you feel. You, Comment. You really like. Subscribe. But I think confidence is key. I think Black men really just are yeah. attracted to confident women. I agree with that. So whether you're confident with your locks and... You know, or your your long, flowy, straight mate, whatever you're confident in, mm -hmm. make sure you're doing it because you want to do it. Absolutely. And I think that black men will love it. You know? And black men, you need to be natural with your hair. Stop putting the dyes in. Embrace your grays, mm -hmm. all that stuff. It's yeah, okay. I got a whole head of grays. It's okay here. to. It's I'm okay only to be wearing old. my hat black because men I have a thing with their hair. Black men, a lot of black men don't yeah. like to get old. Like when their hair starts to get the grays, they they not ready for it yet. A lot of black men are the dying kings. They cannot. I I'm not gonna lie, I dyed my hair for many years. Die, oh my god, <laughs> I stopped. But I I dyed black for many years. Black men love to dye their hair. I started hair for going a while. gray in my mid twenties, so yeah. um, I was dying. I was so like, oh my god, I have grays. I'm now now I want to dye my hair gray. Cause I just, yeah. I just love the silver. I love the silver in my beard. I'm That's embracing how I'm it. Too. I'm going to embrace my gray. Yeah, beautiful. I love my it. My daddy's all white everywhere. Yeah, all my mother everywhere. is all white, so I know I'm going to be all white at some point. But yeah. yes, black men, the Beijing beards. Is oh, stop oh. <laughs> your beard on. Jeez, no, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Right here, the, they paint their hair on. This is, it's the person it's I know. Uh, yeah, I'm not no. gonna say his name. But he has a whole painted like oh. he, like his whole head it's, like it the looks paint. Crazy. And there's it looks no hair natural. there. It's like just paint. Just painted it's skin. It's like painted it. skin. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> I hate that. I think it's very unnatural, and it's say, you, so that just goes to say that black men also have that com have they different do. types of complexes. Oh, yeah. they you know do. what I'm saying? Yeah. They so have an age with the, the great hair, complex. Yeah, the hair situation is not a black woman thing. It's a it's just black people in general. Mm, yeah. So you know that's that's a thing. But it was great talking that's to you guys about hair. All age gracefully. Yeah. Our hair, our grays, our naturalness. We're beautiful, whether we're older, whether we're younger, honey. I am not my hair. Hey! <laughs> you said the salon. Got your skin. Yeah. So. Come on. Come on. All right, so Come where on. we at? So we, we are moving on. We're moving on. And we're moving on into uh, Melanin Moment. A Melanin Moment. So Nick is going to talk to us about the Melanin Moment. Just some, some little stuff that maybe you might not have known. You might not know. Might ought to know. You might know, but you might not think you know. Right. <laughs> okay. Chloe Anthony Woodford. Woodford. Do you oh. know her? I know her, but do you know her? You know her? I don't know her. This is Tony name. Morrison, people. Tony oh. Morrison. Black is beautiful. But I was, that was a generation a little bit younger than me. And I thought, wait a minute. Why you, do you have to say that? Of course we are. And then is that all? It's about beauty again? Is that what makes us human, acceptable? And besides, it's too frail. It was part of what I really despised, which was addressing white people. Who are you talking to? You talking to me? No, <laughs> I know I'm beautiful. Or it doesn't matter to me. You're talking to white people who are saying you're not, and therefore you should be segregated or oppressed. I'm not talking to white people. I'm talking in my books. I'm reading them. So I'm talking to me, which means I'm talking to black people. Everybody knows her as Toni Morrison. Okay. That's her, her original name, Chloe Anthony Wolford okay. Morrison, born Chloe Ardelia Wolford. Uh, so we're shouting her out. She passed uh, not too long ago, actually. On August my birthday. Uh, On my birthday last year, yeah. Um, August 5th is my birthday, sorry. Send <laughs> gifts. He wants cash. The true Leo. <laughs> uh, but Leo. yeah, the writer mm. of Zula, uh, Tar Baby, The Bluest Eye, and she won the Nobel Peace Prize for Literature in 1993. Yeah. Um, so very accomplished woman. We right. just want to shout her out. But yeah, Chloe... Chloe if somebody said determined. Chloe Ardelia, I, 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 I wouldn't have known. Right. She also wrote Beloved, oh, which was yes, her most Beloved. popular book. And she was the first black woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize for Literature. Mm -hmm. So shout out to her. Shout out for first. Shout out to all yeah. the book readers, too. Not yeah. Nice. Read a book. Pick up a Toni Morrison book. You I know think what I, I mean? Made a, I'm doing 15 books this year, so I think I'll add her to my 15. Ooh. Come on, 15 books? I'm on my second book now, so doing 15, 15 books this year. 15 books? That's, that's an inspiration, this mm -hmm. one. 15 she books. She inspires us all. <laughs> she inspires us all. That's the goal this year. Yes, yes, God. 
Come on, fifteen bucks. I'm my, I'm my goal. Why don't you join in? Why no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna set myself up like that. Cause I'm not gonna do it. I don't have. Yeah, but I might try to do five bucks. This okay, year. that's okay. A, that's a start though. Yeah. That's, that's an, Let's say you should read for ten feet. minutes every day. Sure. That's ten pages. At least ten pages a day is a good exercise for your brain. Yeah. How to keep it moving. That's a good idea. I think I, I'm challenging myself to do five books this year. Five. I challenge you all at least try to do five books this year. Right. Five books. And send us some titles, okay? You found <laughs> something, you ran across something that we might ought to want to read. Let us know. Send yeah. us titles. Send us titles. But shout out to Toni Morrison. Shout out to Toni. May Tony. she rest in peace. She was Great. a huge, huge part of our community, our, our black literature community. She inspired right. a lot of young writers. Yes. Um, so we just wanted to shout that out. So if you didn't know, now you know. She is the first black woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize for literature in 1993. Yes. Nobel Peace and a Prize. Oh, <laughs> Nobel Peace and the Prize. Yes. yes. We got it. So. Okay. But shout out to Toni Morrison. So, it's in other news. news. In oh, other news. Child. News. Okay. So, y'all have heard about this coronavirus, honey. For those of you who do not know, it is not beer related. Okay? I don't drink beer. I, well. <laughs> none of us do I, anymore. None of us do <laughs> anymore. Oh, I'm like, you can... I used to drink beer. I used to drink beer. I used to drink beer. All the Miller and the Light. It's, it's been almost five months since I had beer. <laughs> right. Good, for, good. Yeah. Okay. So coronavirus, child. So it started over in China. It's basically like a really, really horrific flu. Mm. Like it has all the symptoms of flu, but also death. Right. So there's like 20,000 cases right now over in China. There's about 360 deaths. But what is disturbing is that mm. some people who are newly diagnosed are actually intentionally spreading it over there. Now, thankfully, I, no cases have been uh, uh, talked about in Philadelphia. Thank God. Yes. Some wood. Um, <laughs> but yeah, over in China, <laughs> these people are t t all in the elevator. Hey, you got to roll that clip. Well, roll the clip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People are so nasty. No, that's not even funny okay. at all. That's like legit. Like that's that's. No, it's a that's real just, thing. That's horrible. Because it's, it's nasty. Um, it's just nasty. Who licks their hands and puts it on elevators that's anyway? Right. Just, 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 and and you, if y'all know me, I'm a huge germaphobe. Oh, like know. that's like a thing for me. I'm mm, a yeah. huge germaphobe. Yeah, yeah. I I keep sanitizer with me at all times. It's just a thing. I wash my hair. My hair. I am not. I hope hair. you do wash your hands. I wash my wash hair. I wash my hands like thirty times a day. I, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm really weird with stuff like that. But I just think it's the nastiest thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Some why nasty. would somebody do that? And then why would? Where's the humanity in that? Like, yeah. you know, people are What's dying the from this. What's the intention of that too? Like, just, what is the just to be uh, people. If I'm going, down, if I'm gonna going to die, down. I'm going to take as many people with yep. me. Mm -hmm. That's yep. what they give it. Yeah. All these viruses always start off in China. Like, are they like the home main manufacturer of these? You had SARS, whatever it was. You had anthrax. Like everything always starts like made in China. Like it's always there. You know, it's the craziest thing. But we steady want to go to China though. I don't want to wanna go to China. China. That's a lot of black people want to go to China. I would like Not to go China. to Japan. But China. I'm going to Africa. Before I want to go, go to anywhere. Japan either. <laughs> No, you I don't really want to go there. I want to go to Africa. I want to yep. go to Australia. But no, I'm not doing Australia. They're having a bat infestation over there, child. And then they had all the fires. Yeah. You know how to go to Australia. Koala bears didn't know where they was going. Listen, Australia needs to get this <laughs> stuff together. Well, by the time I get over there, they had stuff together. I want to go to Australia and Africa. But what I would tell you guys, too, that you have to remember, <laughs> if we have all those coronavirus deaths and all the nasty yeah. that's going on, but that's about 15,000 death cases of the flu right here in the United States. So people are yeah. dying of the common flu. I don't um, do the flu. I, I'm, I don't think anybody. I mean, no, I don't even do the flu vaccine though. Like I have never been, have never ever got the flu vaccine. I've never gotten it either. I've, I had the flu one good time. I've never no, got the vaccine, the vaccine, and I've never got uh, the, the flu the, shot or either. I have had the flu I've shot. I never had the flu I've shot or the flu. The flu. flu. I don't believe in the flu shot. I just, I'm just I'm not, not with not into it. that vaccinations. I'm not I'm, with I'm, it. I don't. I've never gotten a vaccination. No. I have shot. 
I've never gotten yeah, the flu yeah, shot. But I don't really get the flu. I did have it on Thanksgiving, though. No, yes, I, oh. I got it bad. I was sick in bed for Thanksgiving. I missed out it's, all, all it's the It tried turkey. to come. It tried. <laughs> like, it tried. To no, it really it tried to come this year. But, you know, I'm like Miss Health Freak now. And I didn't do all these mm-hmm. times, all these shots, wheatgrass and turmeric and everything. And it's just like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. we can't I get her. Natural remedies. We got to go. I natural natural, remedies. It went right away. It, didn't even, it couldn't remedies. even sit. Yeah. It could so, not sit. Like, Nah. I mean, I like, I like, I like teas and, and herbs and, and yeah, I supplements. Yeah, I did teas. I did a lot of burdock root that worked a lot. But now, if I get sick, sick, I'm going to take me some Dayquil. I ain't going to hold you some Theraflu, some Mucinex. I like Mucinex, though. Mucinex is the one. <laughs> I can't got time to be sick. Mm-hmm. Moral of the story is, get kick you some um, sanitizer in your purse, your book. Yeah. Yes. Wash you know, bed and body where it's got to sell. You get like Wash six for like two little small. You just keep me in your little purse. Drink your orange juice. Take your supplements. Um, it be just complex. comes good vitamins. Try Simply yeah, yeah. Wholesome. They have the, mm-hmm. they're in LA. They have Shop Simply Wholesome. They have the best natural mm-hmm. vitamins for yeah. everything. All organic, all natural, no like additives what to it. What are some it. supplements you take now? I do burdock root. So I do like a, I do a, a blood purifier all of, every day because mm-hmm. I eat a lot of fish now. Um, right. But I do the burdock root. I do um, a green, it's so like all green vegetable one. It has like all the green vegetables you would possibly need in your life. Um, I do one, it's called CKLS. It's for your kidney and your colon. Mm. So that's my daily ones mm-hmm. I do every day. How about you, Nick? You taking any supplements? I have a or? multivitamin, girl, and this say multivitamin. That's <laughs> so when I turn it on are the they, Are they Flintstone? Are they gummies? I'm just asking. I'm about to say Those something about your mama, but we on air. <laughs> hey, I'm going to talk about mama bears. <laughs> well, Child. I personally, I take, I take B12. I think B12 is everything b12 it kind of gives you natural energy um and then i take b complex which is like a serious uh, form of uh, vitamin c um i take coq10 from my heart coke anyway i take turmeric turmeric for inflammation yes t- i just got some turmeric, turmeric for shots from Wegmans the other day absolutely um it came in like a little bit i got two and i got lavender lavender yeah. is for like bliss and beauty but I B12, B12, and B-complex, guys, it will change your life, mm-hmm. especially as you get older. Mm-hmm. B12, that natural you know, energy. You know you're getting older. No shame. Yeah, so. mama. Ah, I know what you're talking about. But hey, Mr. Um, <laughs> I told you before, ancestral foods. Mm, oh, you yeah, gotta yeah, eat yeah. more of your yeah, ancestral yeah. foods. Find out what they are. You gotta find mm. out what they are. Mm. But I'll give you a hint. Some my some up. Uh, uh, what is it? Mangoes and papayas are very very good for black people. Come mm. on, mangoes. Okay, yeah. stay away yeah. from that dairy. It's not for us. But I know we all like our dairy. Some people. <sighs> I, I, I stay away from it. Yeah. Just like cream my coffee. That's yeah. like, I don't mm-hmm. just be drinking glasses of milk. That's nasty. No, That's don't nasty. do I not drink. Even, <laughs> I use banana milk. Banana milk in my Even cereal. Even in can, cashew milk is yo cashew milk ice cream. I like banana milk. Oh my god! Shout out to the cashew milk banana foster ice cream. But Come I'm telling here. you, it is so. If y'all wait, just I'm gonna get y'all some. We gonna have a show on health. <laughs> but we just want to make sure that you washing your hands. Wash um, your hands. Please wash, wash your hands and, and your wash your hair. hair. And your hair. <laughs> <laughs> and take your vitamins and supplements and try to do it the natural okay. way. But go get you some mucinex if you're sick. Because don't be going all out in public and getting everybody infected with your nasty. And licking okay. elevators. I'm going to leave it alone. But sitting on the elevator. Spitting on the elevator. So that guy's putting elevator nasty, in my house. I hope they're nasty. not doing that in my I got. I'm going to carry me some get you Florex some, uh, wipes. Yes. yes. Wipes in this all elevator. Because I ain't got time. And get you some um, sanitizer, oh. girl. Wash. Bring some plastic gloves next time I'm in the elevator. I'm scared of the elevator now. I think I even want to. I think anywhere, anywhere that you that is a public place, you should always like keep something and. <laughs> We can yeah. go on and on because I'm funny about I'm funny about <laughs> stuff like that. I like, am too. I do not like y'all. Make me want to go get me some wash my hands right now. I got some. It's in my pocketbook right now. I got some sanitizer. We got oil. We gonna wash our hands. And we come back. We have a black light. Let's go wash these hands and wash. I can't wash my hair right now. Now I'm feeling Germany and stuff. You at home? Go wash your hands. But tell us what you think. Tell us what kind of supplements you use. Tell us what keeps you healthy. What keeps your family healthy. Um, tell us what kind of supplements you use. Um, tell us what keeps you healthy. What keeps your family healthy. Um, tell us some of the health secrets. Let's let's each one teach one. There's something you could be doing that that. And make me Coke you know and feel and all aloe great. Barrel juice. Yeah. All the things. Mm-hmm. Let us know. So let us know, but we'll be right back with the black light. Black light. All right. Black light. Black light. <laughs> <laughs> so hello guys, welcome to Black Light. Hey. Where we highlight a black business. Mm-hmm. Just a black event. Just anything black that's going we want to shine a light on it. Just you know, let everybody know what's going on with everything. So this black light is on TP Texas. Come on, TP and her taxes. You know it is officially tax season. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? Selling your taxes better than an all black accounting firm. Come on in here. All black accounting firm. Yes. All accountants. Real accountants. Yes. They will have you with the max refund. They e file. They are just, they're awesome. They do my taxes, um, business and personal, everything through all taxes all over the random board. And outside of taxes, when it's not tax season, you want to keep your business going and keep your bookkeeping going. They offer services for bookkeeping, payroll, just everything under the sun. So this tax season, you got to go to TP Tax. They're at 5613 Walnut Street in West Philadelphia. 215 TP Taxes on Instagram is at TP Taxes. And their website, I believe, is www.tptaxes.com. It's everything TP Taxes. Come on, TP Taxes. Wealth over money is their thing. So remember that. Wealth. Oh, I love that. Wealth, wealth over, over money. money. Yes. Everybody that. want money, but I want wealth. Wealth. I want wealth. Okay. So TP Taxes is a place to go for your taxes. If you're wondering where Rome is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He had to go wash his hands. No, 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 he's gone. <laughs> Rome had a meeting. You know, he had a know. meeting. Okay, because we are busy. Prime. He's we are very booked. busy. He's okay. very booked and busy. Um, but this show is super important, and that's so left, why. He left me and Nick in charge. Yeah. So of course, we're going to cut up. That's <laughs> <laughs> But yes, TP Taxes. I wish check I had them some out. money to throw for y'all to show okay. y'all how this money gonna come when you go to TP Taxes. All right. That but money make, sure you, make sure you file your taxes this year. Please. Okay? If you have not filed your taxes in seven years, get it together, people. Please. Okay, we don't want y'all living dirty. When is tax deadline? Right. I think what, April 15th? April 15th is deadline. It's a deadline. Okay, so don't so wait until April 15th. You know they're gonna wait till April 14th and 11:59. Do not wait. Come file on, your taxes. People. Get your money in order. Get your max refund. And you know what yes. you do with that? Take that money. This year and do a little investing. Invest in yourself. Yes. No okay. bags, no shoes, no vacations. Just Child. invest. Do some little investing yeah, this year. This is the year of investing and manifesting and getting things together. So Some manager script, rented, printed, something. <laughs> do something. Do everything. Yeah. But buy your bag. Yeah, don't buy the bag. <laughs> don't buy the bag. But if you have a business that you want us to highlight, let us know. Send us your information and we will definitely <laughs> highlight them on the Black Light. We definitely will. I, I love Black Light. I love, you know. Yeah. Giving, you know, props and, you know, just shining like, you know, some inspiration to everyone about what everybody doing in the community. Yeah. So, TP Texas, check them out. Like, subscribe. Tell your auntie, your, son, your sister, yes, your like, cousin, subscribe. your brother, everybody. Also, watch last week's show. If you haven't, what you are have you doing to. with your life? Okay. If you haven't watched no shows, you're new, welcome. Oh, watch, yes, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> but watch all the rest <laughs> of the shows that we have going on. We got some, you know, great things and we got new things coming. Yes, I'm excited about next week's show. Super excited, but you have to tune in to yes, watch. Yes, so tune in. Bye. Oh, and Instagram at here's a thing underscore show. Yes. See you Sunday. Bye.